Doc Owen here with Action Figure Times and we're continuing on with Arkham Days. Today we're going to be looking at Poison Ivy from the Series 2 of the Arkham Asylum. <clears throat> now, uh, she's in the regular packaging. She's got the Arkham Asylum Batman logo. Hey, don't forget about our contest that's going on right now where you can win a Detective Mode Batman. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can come to the site and view the video or it's somewhere on uh, one of the other video sites as well. And I'm, maybe we might even tag it on to um, some of these other videos. But anyway, uh, Miss uh, Pamela comes with... Now, the one figures that we will not be reviewing, we won't be reviewing um, Bane. Because I, honestly, I was never able to find him. And, well, actually, I think I saw him once. But to be quite frank with you, I looked at him. And to me, it was such a betrayal of the Bane character, I, I just didn't, uh, I don't know. If I can find one at a decent price, because they're high right now on eBay, if I can find one at a decent price, I'll get one and we'll still take a look at it. But anyway, let's get Pamela out of here. You know, she did appear in uh, both games, which I think is kind of cool. You know, and she, I thought her interactions with Catwoman in the second game were very neat. Um, when she was in Arkham, of uh, this one for uh, Arkham, Asylum. Uh, I thought I thought they did a good job with her. Hey guys, this is a lot of twist ties again. I'll be right back with you. So here is Poison Ivy. Now, one thing I don't understand is why she looks like she's been in a vortex. I mean, her hair going straight back there. I would expect it to be like all over, kind of wild looking, you know. But I mean, this is swept back. I mean, to each his own. Makes one of her ears look like she's an el uh, elfin or something like that. Now, there are a couple things that I don't like about this figure. One, I think she's attractive, but I don't think she's as pretty as I would expect Poison Ivy to be since she was so attractive to men. Of course, it could be the pheromones, you know, uh, messing with them. Um, the other thing is, is she has no knee joints at all. Period. I mean, uh, so, and with her... Um, I guess her, like, what are they, ivy panties or something like that? I mean, in the way they made her hips, she can't even move all that much back. She does have uh, elbow joints, but uh, they're very, very tight. But all in all, we'll talk about some of the detailing when we look at it up close. It's kind of cool. Now, I wanted to show you one of the other Gotham City Sirens. This is her with uh, Harley, kind of from the same line, and they're about the same size so that's kind of that's kind of cool I, I did always of course Harley's on you know got these uh, big uh, clod hoppers on so I, I guess because I always expected Ivy to be a little bit taller than her I'm, I'm not exactly sure why I just always kind of did but um, anyway let's go ahead and take a look at Ivy close up so here we are looking at Pammy up close. She does come with one of the simplified round stands um, that we've been seeing a lot of. The hair is actually, even though it's kind of the vortex look, they actually did an excellent job with it as far as the coloring and stuff. I think they did a good job with her as well. Um, as far as her face, she's got the thin nose. Obviously, she's been getting some surgery. Uh, as, as you go down, I think one thing that's kind of weird to me is, is her panties here, the way it's supposed to be coming up and stuff. It, honestly, it almost makes it look like her skin is kind of like a corset that ends. I, I think that's a little bit odd. Now, this is kind of neat. The, some of these polyps are actually, they're, uh, I mean, that's actually s sticks out on her arm. That's kind of cool. Now, the arms will move, but they're stuck, and I don't want to tear them up. I don't know whether the shoulder has articulation or not. I don't think it does, um, but I'm not going to risk it. Legs, of course, have no articulation. Got some polyps going down. The vines. You know, I don't mind this colored uh, poison ivy. Uh, sometimes I, I get to be a bit of a purist, but I'm, I'm okay with this. One cool thing is, is that she does have the Ar an Arkham symbol on her jacket, which I think is kind of cool. And you can see the ivy all the way down. So anyway... I think this is a pretty cool figure. It's nice to have. Always nice to have a Poison Ivy figure. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. We've got something brand for, new for you tomorrow on Arkham Days at AFTimes.com.
Six Figure Times. As you know, we've been celebrating all things Arkham. Well, now's your opportunity to add one of these fine figures to your collection. We're going to be giving away the DC Collectibles Detective Mode Batman to the winner of a contest. Now, how do you win? What's the contest? Real simple. In 150 words or less, we would like to know what you would like to see as the storyline for the next game. We've had Arkham Asylum, Arkham City. Some people think the next one might be Arkham World, but what do you think? And what do you think the storyline ought to be? Now you have up until June 27th uh, at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to, re to enter and, and you can enter as many times as you want as long as they're each original ideas. Okay, you can't just copy and paste the same story. But whoever the winning uh, winner entry is, we'll take this figure, mail it to you, postage paid, and you can enjoy it. One thing, and you know what, if you win, you'll even have the opportunity, if you'd like to, to do your very own review. I know I've done a review, but you can do your very own review, either it can be video, pictures, or whatever, and you'll have the opportunity, we'll post it on the site, and let everybody know that you won, and uh, what you think of the figure. Well, thank you very, very much. Remember, go to AFTimes.com and join the contest. I look forward to seeing what you think the game ought to be about.